This guide gives schools with a plus or premium package an introduction to the online activities and pupil rewards. Once you have set up a class, you can access the online activities. You can do this in two ways. If you are already signed into the school dashboard, select the Classes option from the left-hand menu. Then click on the class link and this will take you to the online activities. Alternatively, you can log in from the home page using the class username and password you created. If you have a 0 to 20 package, you'll be given the option of accessing the 0 to 10 or 10 to 20 content. Select the 0 to 10 option and you'll be taken to the class dashboard. Here you'll see all the pupils that you added to your class. At the bottom of the page, you'll also see a tab for groups. We'll explain how to set up these groups in the next guide. In the top right, there is also a Demo User option. This allows you to access any activity and model it to your pupils. The first user can click on their avatar and this will take them to the interactive map. Click on a 10 town character and you'll see all the activities for that number. Then click on the chosen activity. King Wan's Tracing Game Level 1 For successfully completing an activity, you'll receive a star. Well done! It doesn't matter which level has been completed. The user can navigate back to the activities using the breadcrumb trail at the bottom of the page. The star is now displayed on the activity. Once all of the activities have been completed for a number, the pupil is awarded a badge. Please note, the Ten Town TV videos cover cross-curricular themes and therefore don't need to be watched to earn a number badge. Use the breadcrumb trail to return to the map and the badge will be displayed next to the number. You'll also see that by completing the number, the circle around the pupil's avatar has started to fill. This is a simple visual guide so both the pupil and the teacher can see their progress. Once a pupil has earned a badge by every number, they will receive a special reward. The pupil can choose from a selection of stylish hats for their avatar. It is possible to restrict access to any number. This avoids pupils jumping ahead and finding out about other characters before you have introduced them. You can also restrict access to individual activities within a number. For further details about using number locking, please see the individual guide. It is easy for the pupils to take turns on the activities. Click on the arrows in the red circle and all the other pupils in the class are displayed. So, the next user can simply click on their name to start their turn. You can also access the demo user at any time via the teacher controls which are behind the mortarboard icon. Just press and hold for two seconds. Just click on the demo user to model an activity and then click on the cross to return to the pupil. The sign out option is also behind the mortarboard to avoid pupils signing out by accident. If you have reached the online activities via the class link icon on the school dashboard, you can return here by using the dashboard icon. Use the home icon to return to the class dashboard. Then click on the arrow to access the 10 to 20 map. These activities are arranged around 10 town studios and the pupil rewards operate in a similar way to the 10 town map. The only difference is that the activities include an interactive version of the Tier 10 show. Hello, and welcome to my show. Which combines a game and a song. Can you number that's even bigger? 10 and 3 make... The pupil can complete either the interactive show or play the elements individually to earn a badge. When all the numbers have been completed, including the final banquet, the pupil can select a special crown for their avatar. If you have any queries about the online activities and pupil rewards, then please do not hesitate to contact us.